den her, det ved jeg ikke for. Men jeg har godt sjok her på. Jeg kan nærmest bare nå en nøvskøj, og det tager mig af på. Og nå, et stund som en tøm i mor, men hvor er det jo skæmme med det, jeg tænker. Huntington's kind of just takes away very slowly something that that you didn't know you didn't know how precious it was until it got all taken away. Huntington's disease causes degeneration of parts of the brain. It has a mean age of onset of 40, so it affects people in the prime of life. I don't know what to do. It stops you jerking. I'm a bit nervous. So there are between six and 10,000 people within the UK who actually have the illness. But because it's a hereditary illness, every child born to an affected parent has a 50% chance of inheriting the illness. I remember very vividly um, being told that my mum had this, this thing and I didn't know what it was. The advisor from HJ was there on the day that we were told and she kind of explained everything and made it a lot more easy to understand kind of what was going to happen and the implications of it. The HD Association Regional Care Advisors provide this essential link for families with Huntington's disease in terms of their care. I think really we're obviously a listening ear really for families and we're um, there to ensure that our families are supported. Just having that single point of contact, who can be the liaison for all of those different services, who can work with the statutory professionals, educate and train them, not only helps the, the, the families in, in, through the system, but also means the quality of care that they receive is much better. I think if they can explain themselves in the, in the first um, language, it puts them at ease. I think that, that that's a big thing really, when, it, when you're struggling to come to terms with you know, an awful illness, you know, like Huntington's. Children growing up in a family where the Huntington's disease is very often kind of quite a chaotic existence. Her health got worse and the responsibility on me was quite heavy because I had a younger sister who was a baby when my mum was diagnosed. So working with those children, providing them some mechanism of support, that's been really, really important. Obviously with their experience they can show you how to deal with it and it's really useful having that, that experience from somebody else's point of view. And you're not the only 13 year old that's had to look after a baby and reassuring to know that you're not just on your own. I think for a small charity, for a relatively rare disease, they have made a massive impact. The families that we work with on a daily basis are just so courageous. You know, they may be living with four generations of this illness in, in, at, at any one time, and yet they are so supportive of us as an organisation, and, and they are so courageous. That's just a real inspiration. I just live my life as I always have. I hope I always will.